Welcome to Wax Sports Reviews and in this new box is the new set of the Adidas Vector Cricket Shoes, their best selling shoe over the last 5 years and for good reason. So let me start talking to you about the features of this shoe. First off, the colorway is completely fresh. Last year they had a black and orange colorway running through which they've changed to the Aussie bottle green and acid yellow going well with the Aussie jersey colors. Overall, this shoe is a massive upgrade from what you used to see over a couple seasons ago where this upper was all leather which was hot and heavy. Now it's an all knit upper which is super lightweight, very flexible, stretches well and is really well ventilated. So over an entire day worth of play, these shoes are very comfortable to wear making sure your feet are not fatigued by the end of it. Another really cool thing about Adidas which they've done this year is this entire upper is made with recycled ocean waste making sure this is taking a new step towards sustainable making of shoes and also this new box has been printed with sustainable materials and inks. Talking about the shoes overall, otherwise this midsole is the classic Adaptine Plus midsole which Adidas has perfected. This is a cricket specific midsole which offers you really good bounce and also good energy return. This is superiorly chunky around the heel area. This shoe was designed for pace bowlers where this part over here would take away most of the shock upon impact when you hit the deck really hard. Although this used to be a pace bowler shoe, this is now an all-round shoe used for a variety of applications which I'll talk to you about later. This little bit running along the heel might appear as an aesthetic addition but this is a heel clip which adds a bit more weight towards the heel of the shoe which will keep your heel grounded when you're landing while bowling making sure you don't land in the forefoot region causing any injuries. Talking about other stuff, you've got this outsole here with a 7 and 3 spike layout. The 7 at the front give you superior forefoot tread so if you want to spin the ball or just use your feet a lot while you're batting something like this would come in quite handy. And 3 in the back with the third spike adding as a really good addition. There's also a lot of these TPU grids running throughout the outsole to offer you superior grip making sure you don't slip and have a lot of grip to accelerate. What this third spike will do uh, is when you land, it will roll your foot inwards, stopping you from rolling over your ankle and causing injuries, which in particular works really well for pace bowlers because you do have a very hard, heavy landing. On the outside edge of the heel, there's this cutout, which works well if you do land on the outside edge because this extra bit of landing room will automatically tilt your foot in, or working like autocorrect, stopping your foot from rolling over and removing any injuries as a result of that. The outsole also bleeds into the toe to give you superior yorker protection which is then complemented by this mushroom leather which appears to be a little bit more durable and stiffer than actual leather where this cases the whole toe to offer you better toe protection and also right along here say if you have a drag along in your follow through this stops the shoes from fraying apart as easily which brings another point about this shoe where it is a very durable upper where you could put through a fair bit of abuse through it while still having these shoes last you pretty well which is something that I really like about a top end set of shoes. Another really good addition which Adidas weren't doing a couple years ago is the addition of this lockdown strap. Now unlike others like New Balance where they would just have a strap to hold the laces down adding no real value to the shoe but just adding the weight this is a proper lockdown strap where it passes through this loop to tighten the shoe in the midfoot so that this gives you really good midfoot stability clamping this area down stopping any slippage as a result and preventing injuries too. There's also extra loops around the ankle if you want to clip the shoe slightly harder making sure you get really good support and a very tightly snug heel. Talking about the heel one thing that Adidas do really well is a stiff heel cage which will hold this area in place stopping any lateral movements and also to compensate for that extra bit of stiffness and support there's a really thick amount of padding running throughout the heel course which makes sure that you are quite comfortable when you wear these and that stiffness doesn't hurt your heel too much. There's this really soft Adidas branded tongue over here which sits well on the midfoot and then this forefoot area is also clamped down with a really good cage so as soon as you lace this up this place is held in place really well too. Haul up, these are a fantastic set of shoes. If you're a serious cricketer or even a semi-pro this would be my recommendation for any level of cricket that you play. Like I've mentioned earlier, this started out as a pace bowler shoe where you now see the likes of Ellie Perry, Stuart Broad, Jofra Archer, Jimmy Anderson, Sean Abbott using these. But it's also used by spinners like Jess Jonathan and even wicketkeeper batters. Not an ideal application that they sought out but it still works really well with the likes of Jimmy Pearson using these. They are by far the best shoe you could get and an easy recommendation in my books for something quality. 
So if you're looking to get these, you can walk into one of our stores or get them online.